but you're going to be uh, dying a different colours very shortly to the uh, England's bowling coach for the first test and second test as well. Was that un unexpected to be called upon by Trevor Bayliss to assist the England uh, Ashes preparations? Yeah, completely out of the blue. So obviously I've been a, an Ashes fan for a long time. Um, I can remember back to when Ian Botham caught that catch at Melbourne, obviously 2005 vintage series and very aware of the rivalry but from a to be a Kiwi and then get the invite to be part of the series, you know, I was always going to jump at it. So it's been a bit, bit of banter in the media already, so really looking forward to being part of the setup. Your role with the team will be to obviously get the bowling group established to Australian conditions and certainly at the Gabba, something you feel comfortable with with your experience with the BBL? Yeah, definitely. I think you know there's a whole range of factors being over here for the last couple of years, played a bit here, experience with the Kookaburra ball, but also I've got a couple of pretty handy campaigners in the England team who I'm getting the opportunity to work with as well. So been in touch with those guys and, and really looking forward to just getting over to Perth next weekend and getting stuck into what is a, a nice lead in time to the first test match here. There's been some, I guess, assessment the attack has been perhaps not as strong as it could be, but you obviously feel there's plenty to work with? Yeah, 100%. I mean, you've got a couple of guys who've got 900 test wickets between them and uh, some blokes with pace and bounce built, built in and around that. So there's no doubt the team's got the talent to, to win the series. I think it's going to be a close series to pretty even even teams and uh, from my point of view just hoping to come out on the English side. I never thought I'd say that but uh, yeah, hoping we, hoping we win. No, okay. <laughs> what about the Kookaburra ball? Because the English when they come here, just very mention of the name Kookaburra ball seem to almost make their knees tremble. They, they find it just so challenging, don't they? As an overseas player, did you find that challenging? Uh, I think the Duke's different, it has a different feel, playing in England it moves around more, it's, I, I liked it and you, and you often come to Australia and you know the seam's going to be flatter, the wickets are flat, the ball doesn't do much, so you've got to try and find a way to get the ball to move off the straight, Australia, Australia are bloody strong in their own conditions, especially their batting lineup. so that's the stuff we've got three and a half weeks to work through before we turn up here at Brisbane and if we get that right with the quality of bowlers we've got then yeah, we'll go we'll give them a pretty good run for their money. You obviously had a good track record yourself as a bowler against Aussie batsmen. Um, anything specific you're going to share with these English bowlers? I'll just work through it. As I said, they've got lots of experience. What we will do is we'll be well prepared, well organised, and we'll know exactly how we want to attack the Australians come that first test match. So, as you said, just looking forward to getting into that environment. There's plenty of experience there, good coaches and players, and yeah, I'm really looking. I'm looking forward just to the. Uh, seeing everything that goes around the Ashes series, the hype, the crowds, the anticipation, that'll be a new experience for me and one I'm looking forward to. Finally, the Gabba, I suppose, is a very important match the first test, Australia's record for you. Is it something that you have noticed yourself that there's a way to win at the Gabba, a way to play at the Gabba? I think it's been 30 years, I think, since it might have been New Zealand, might have been the last team that won West here. Indies. Well, it was the West Indies, just after us then, after <laughs> Paddle's got his nine wicket. So, Look, Aussie will always talk about it, and I'm sure it'll be talked in the lead-up that it's a fortress and Aussie haven't lost here in however many years it is. That all means nothing. Um, we, there's pace, there's bounce, there can be swing here, and uh, if our bowlers can uh, use that uh, when the conditions suit, then there's no reason why we can't knock over an Australian batting lineup that has had some problems over the last couple of years. And finally, of course, extended yourself for two more years with the Heat. Uh, you've had some interest in, from coaching around the world and stuff. Is this still fitting in nice with your career paths? Yeah, I love it, mate. I mean, it's been a great organisation to be part of. We've managed to build a the nice nucleus of a very good team. Obviously, Chris now being involved for the long term and a number of other players in and around him recently. I think if we build on from last season, which was a great season for us, and I'm excited about what this season holds as well. So I think the next few years for the Heat are going to be you know, extremely successful ones. Awesome. Thank you, Bondi.